everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Freddy Santiago and today's video is all about Pretty in Pink. In line with trying to be optimistic, I'm still hoping we're going to have a spring this year and I think this look gives such a nice spring vibe. So imagine cotton candies and cherry blossoms and for a while escape to a place where everything is so nice and pretty. If you want to take it further, stay around and let's have some fun. I have already prepared my skin using the Suya Skin Range from Shuyumura. I started with this um, toner here. This is number two, followed by the eye cream, and then the serum. And I finished that with this um, Youthful Bouncy Face Cream. Now I want to do my skincare ahead of time and really allow it to penetrate my skin and do what it's supposed to do before I put on any makeup, be it eyeshadow or be it um, base that I'm doing first because I really want to create that degree of separation between my skincare and my makeup because sometimes when you put makeup straight away on top of skincare the texture and the formulation tend to clash and you sort of develop that noodling effect so I see to it that I allow a good two to three minutes for my skincare to settle onto my skin before I put on anything just so it would be able to do the work it's supposed to do onto my skin. And that would really help the makeup in staying longer and looking immaculate. And like always, I will begin this look with the eyes first and I will be working mainly with this palette here, which is actually not a palette. This, I, these are actually individual eyeshadows put together. Years and years ago when I used to work for Shuyumura, I really enjoyed creating palettes that are tailored for customers. I really love the journey that I take them through, you know, picking eyeshadows and talking to them which one works for them and which one they think they would use more on a daily basis. And unfortunately, we don't have Shuyumura in the UK anymore and I have unearthed this palette along with many others from Shuyumura in my storage the other day. Also, I will be working with this cream shadow here, which is also from Shuyumura. And using a synthetic brush, I will just pop that on my lids and that would act as a base for the eyeshadow. actually looks pretty on its own. And then using a flat brush, which is actually from Shuyumura, I'm going to go in with this color first, which is more like a dusty pink. I'm just going to press that. And then using a floppy brush, I'm just gonna blend the edge of that. Using the same brush still, I'm now going in with this hot pink matte eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna press that on the outer edge. Now there was once a time, if my memory serves me right, when the smoky eyes were all the rage, people wouldn't dare to touch pink eyeshadow. And I could understand why, because it has a tendency to give you rabbit eyes. But now, with the explosion of Instagram and YouTube and all this um, platform that has given avenue for makeup, pink eyeshadow has really taken the center stage. 
Before it used to be just the Asians, it used to be just the Koreans and the Chinese and the Japanese who dare wear pink eyeshadows. But now I'm so happy to see that almost, if not everyone, wears pink eyeshadow. I'm just really blending that. this eye is a little bit tricky so I would need a little bit more concentration So the struggle is real trying to wing that eyeliner so I shifted to this ultra fine brush instead and using the same eyeliner I am applying it with this brush instead so I could really get that sharp tail. Right, so I'm just gonna clean now the under eye for whatever fallout in there, which isn't that many. And I'm just reapplying a bit of that eye cream before we color correct and conceal. For color corrector, I will be using this um, serum corrector from Bobbi Brown. And using the same brush till I will be moving in with this serum concealer. sides of my nose. And then foundation.
just gonna wand it up now with this shader from Tom Ford. Just... Again, this is not contouring, this is just shading. Just bring back the warmth into my face. And I'm using the same brush that I use for the foundation. And then the highlighter. And then cream blush. And just before I powder that, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I'm just gonna set that. And I think we have allowed enough time for the highlighter and the foundation and everything else to merge. So I'm just gonna powder now just mainly on my T-zone. Then using this color here, which is a taupey brown, I'm just gonna do a bit of nose contouring. So I'm just curling my lashes now. Just gonna pop in some mascara as well.
luscious. For lips, I will be using Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. And then lipstick. And that is the finished look. Thank you once again for being with me in this moment of self-indulgence. I hope you learned something from me today. If you have enjoyed this video, then consider giving it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and turn that notification on and help me grow this channel. If there's a look that you want me to show you how to create, just put it down on the comment section. I hope to see you again on my next video, but until then, always remember, be kind to yourselves. Bye!